All right. Well, Doug, thanks so much for joining us again. We really appreciate you hopping on with us this afternoon. Um, you currently drive full time in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour, obviously. Um, very decorated career, six championships, 31 tour wins, and um, multiple track championships at Stafford. Uh, you're making your truck debut, truck series debut yeah. weekend uh, with GMS Racing at Bristol. Um, just kind of take us through how that all came to be and how you're feeling going into your um, NASCAR Camping World Truck Series debut at Bristol Motor Speedway. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm super excited to have the opportunity to work with GMS Racing. Um, you know, I've been racing for a really long time, uh, probably longer, been racing longer than some of my competitors that I'll be racing with on Thursday. I've even been alive. Um, but the reality is uh, this whole thing came about from meeting Mike Beam at the SRX race at Stafford uh, when that series debuted at Stafford this past June. And uh, Mike was my lucky draw crew chief. Uh, he pulled my name from the wrenches that they had there. And I was his, his guy for the night or one of his guys for the night. And uh, we just bonded real quick. We started talking about racing and he was really curious about, you know, my history and the modifieds and, and how I came to be. And uh, obviously throughout the race, things went well and we worked well together to adjust on the car and uh, made a few changes that some of those superstars weren't ready for. And uh, we had a great car and ended up winning the race. And you know, I had been joking with Mike all day that, you know, he, well, not joking, he knew I wanted to win the race and he wanted to win really badly too. And I think just that mix of competition, uh, competitiveness and overall desire to just really put on a show was what formed the bond really quickly between Mike and myself. And, um, you know, I joked with him that if I went out there and won the race that he was going to have to you know, pull, put me into one of his trucks for some race at the end of this year. And he said, you know what, you make that happen and I'll make it happen. And uh, he st stood true to his word and uh, immediately called me the day after the race and said, we're going to put you in the 24 truck at Bristol. And, you know, if you want to do it, it's a done deal. And, and basically it was uh, that much of a fairy tale story. Um, and, and hopefully another chapter is written this Thursday at Bristol. Well, awesome. We will go to questions now, and we will start with Marty Sakala. Go ahead, Marty. Thanks, Sam. Doug, I get another one-on-one -on -one with you, man. How are you? Yeah, good. How you doing, Marty? Doing good, man. So uh, a couple things I had for you. You told me when we talked in Oswego a couple weeks ago that the truck that was getting ready had won in the series before. Do you know, like, who drove that truck in the past? Was it one at Bristol too? The reason I ask is GMS has won for the last tr five truck races at Bristol on concrete. Yeah, uh, they won in uh, 2019 with Brett, Mo Brett Moffat driving the, the truck. And then uh, again in 2020 with Sam Mayer driving the truck. So the 24 has won both uh, 2019 and 2020. So a little bit of pressure there for me to go out there and perform. Uh, obviously, they've had some great drivers and their equipment over the years and uh, having five trucks full time on the the series is something where they're able to really share notes and and make all the trucks better. And it's you know been evident with Sheldon winning the first two uh, playoff races. Um, so you know it's just been uh, a great opportunity to hop into uh, a winning truck ride. And at my age, I knew that if I was going to get invited to do something in the truck series or the Xfinity series, I knew it needed to be something good. Um, and there's a big difference in some of these series between, you know, equipment that can go out there and win and equipment that's not quite capable of that. And, you know, I'm super thankful for GMS to give, give me a winning truck ride for my first shot at this deal. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to go out there and try to minimize mistakes and, uh, listen to my crew chief, Chad Walter, and, and take all the advice I can get from the other drivers and the other team members here at GMS and, um, just hopefully put on a good show for my sponsor, Mayhew Tools, who's coming along with us for uh, both of our series debut together. And uh, it's just shaping up to be a really exciting event for myself, my family, friends, and all the Modified Tour community who, who follows, you know, the Modified Tour fans and, and crews and other teams. They're so supportive of any of us who get a chance to do something like this. So just really excited to go out there and represent them this Thursday. How the team meetings spend with uh, Sheldon Creed and Zane Smith? And I know you've got the experience here, but have they given you advice too? Uh, not yet. I haven't met those guys in person. I uh, had a team meeting on a call earlier today uh, and certainly plan on chatting with them quite a bit uh, on Thursday at Bristol. But, you know, those two, Sheldon and Zane, they've got some really important things to focus on with 
the playoffs and uh, making sure that they do everything they can tr to try to get Zane qualified to the next round. And, uh, you know, uh, these guys are, are really good at what they do. And, and the whole team from top to bottom has proven that uh, to have all these these different trucks that are out there capable of winning. Uh, it's not like there's just one out of the five that wins. It's like five out of the five that can win. So um, I'm going to be starting deep in the field. I, I think they told me today that we're starting 31st. Uh, so there's certainly going to be some hustle going on in the beginning to get get up, you know, get a, a barrier between us and the leader who's going to come around pretty quick. So lots to take in, uh, but I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm excited and I uh, really can't wait. Now you said uh, you're starting 31st. You just like you said a couple of weeks ago, just going to take it easy on those first 30, 50 laps, like you said? Uh, I really can't. Um, I, I need to perform pretty quickly, and I, I'm going to try not to make mistakes in the first 30 or 50 laps, but I need to move forward, and I'm not going out there just for a, a Sunday drive for the first couple laps. I mean, I, I got to go. Um, I need to be smart, though, and I need to uh, know who I'm racing around and uh, realize that I'm not driving a modified with a lot more tire and um, you know, a lot less uh, weight in the thing. So I really have to adapt, adapt pretty quickly. But um, the truck weighs about the same as the SRX car. It's got about the same power as the SRX car. Uh, and the SRX car didn't feel a whole lot different from the modified to me other than, you know, being on a super hard, smaller tire. So, um, you know, I've got eight races under my belt at Bristol in the modified. I've got four top fives in those eight races. So uh, I've got a lot of confidence that, Bristol is the track that I can adapt to. It's just a matter of, you know, hopefully, you know, right away guys don't have, you know, don't get jammed up in front of me and I have to react too quickly the first, you know, handful of corners. I'm just hoping to settle in and uh, make some moves early on. I want to ask you as well, how is Richmond last week from your perspective? Uh, well, Richmond is uh, like a second home to me. I'm a University of Richmond graduate from 2001. So to be able to go back to Richmond and get my first start there uh, was a really special thing for me. Um, I ended up with a fifth place finish after a day that didn't look like it was going to go too well. Uh, the middle of the race, our car really struggled, but my crew did a great job making adjustments at our uh, pit stop there for four tires with about 50 to go. And we came from 14th to fifth uh, at the end of the run there. So couldn't ask for much more other than to maybe win um, you know, we're still battling for an owner points championship in the modified, even though I missed one race this year. So um, we did close it down to 20 points with now two races to go. So it's uh, it's going to be game on at Bristol on Thursday and then game on following Saturday at Riverhead Raceway on Long Island. I know you're excited for Riverhead, too, because you won both races there this season looking for the sweep. Yeah, uh, I was like 0 for 20 my the rest of my career. And then we, we popped off these two this year. We just hit on something really good and uh, really excited to go back there. It's going to be a, a really somber night with track owner uh, Eddie Partridge passing away. Ryan Priest's modified tour car owner. Uh, he owns Riverhead Raceway. So uh, it's going to be a, a really tough evening for a lot of people. But I'm just going to go there and try and put on another show and, and win another modified race. One more thing I want to ask you before I go. Is there a lot more film watching you've been doing this week? Because I know you're not a big sim racer or an iRacer. Yeah, I mean, I watched the races in the past. And, I mean, they're all going to unfold differently. I, I actually more so watching the other uh, playoff races and whatnot and, and just seeing how uh, the trucks are, are running this year. Um, Bristol's going to be Bristol. And, you know, uh, I don't think sim racing in a truck – it, at Bristol replaces, you know, going 14 fours in a modified around in Bristol where you actually get the real feel and the real thing. So uh, the trucks are quite a bit slower than the modified. So I'm just going to use that, hopefully that, that faster sensation to my advantage and, um, and hopefully not make too many mistakes, but um, you know, yeah, watching the last few races and uh, I got to see some in-car video of uh, pit stops and we're going to do some pit stop practice tomorrow uh, just to kind of keep me fresh and get me up to speed on on really gaining positions on pit road. That's something that I've never really focused on in the modified. It's uh, more so just being safe and and having a solid pit stop. But here it's obviously competitive and every every second matters. Appreciate it, man. Good luck Thursday. Wish I had more questions since I'm the only guy here. But yeah, good I luck to you, man. It. Thanks. Nice for talking to you. You as well. Doug, is there anything else that you would like to add about your debut this weekend? 
Where no, we- I'm hoping that I get a chance on uh, on on TV to be able to thank my sponsors and my fans and friends. And, uh, you know, hopefully we put on a good show and hopefully we're thanking them after the race with some some television time. And, uh, you know, just super thankful for for GMS racing for the opportunity and uh, Chevrolet and and getting uh, Maury Gallagher to say that this was something they wanted to do. And um, it's really exciting to see the the tide shifting in uh, some forms of motorsports where when you are uh, successful at one level, people a level above notice and and they want you to be included. And, and I'm hoping I go out there and put on a good show and uh, maybe get some more opportunities down the road. Absolutely. Well, we are excited for you this weekend and we wish you the best of luck at Bristol. Thanks so much.